Hey YouTube Rando here. Uh, today we're going to make the uh, swamp fan uh, evaporative cooler. I'm going to show you everything you need. Now if you have some of this stuff on hand you can save money. Uh, you see a lot of videos out there that say you can make it for $40 or you can make it for $20. Well, I couldn't. Uh, and I'm going to show you why. There's the fan we bought for it. The fan was $20. It was like $16.99, something like that, at a family dollar. Uh, you can get the same thing at Dollar General or whatever you have near you. Uh, that cooler was uh, $2.50. And all of this all together, I have right about $65 into it. And I'm going to show you what I'm using. Uh, all right, but I got an, uh, let's see, a 10-foot roll of copper tubing. This is 3 8 outside diameter right here 3 8 outside diameter by 10 foot so the reason I did that is because this pump let's see this pump works with it has adapters and you can either do 3 8 or you can do half inch uh, let me see if I can find it if we can focus in on that anyways it's three eighths inch inside diameter tubing adapter so you want to make sure your tubing is three eighths inside diameter that's this clear vinyl tubing and it's we'll go over the prices here in a minute uh, and then the copper tubing you want to make 3 8 outside diameter so it'll be 3 8 OD, 3 8 ND, or ID, sorry. Uh, we have a couple little steel clamps, which I don't even think we're going to need those, but we'll put them on anyway just to be safe. So here's the layout of everything you need. You need a cooler, you need a fan, you need some copper tubing, some vinyl tubing, a pump and some clamps. Uh, also you'll need some uh, uh, tie straps and some scissors. That, that's about everything you need to do this. So, let's see the prices. Uh, I don't know if you can catch that but it was forty two eighty two for just the tubing, the pump, the copper, uh, and the clamps. Let's see the Vinyl tubing was seven twenty five for a twenty foot roll. Now if you can get a ten foot roll you can save some money there, but all they had in stock was twenty foot rolls, so I went ahead and bought it. Uh, the clamps were a dollar. The pump, which it's a smart pond, hundred and fifty five gallon per hour, uh, submersible fountain pump. And it'll only go up four foot, so you're gonna have to keep it close to the bottom of the fan. Uh, it was twenty dollars. The tubing, copper tubing, was twelve dollars. This was seven twenty-five, a dollar, twenty dollars, and two fifty. So you can do the math on that. Uh, like I said, it's right around sixty, sixty something dollars, low sixties. So we're gonna get the fan out, and we're gonna get the copper tubing ran, and we're gonna show you how we did that. So we'll be right back, YouTube. So your first step is to go ahead and lay out your copper tubing. Now you can lay it out however you want to. If you have a bender, you can do, you know, this way and uh, kind of do it like a radiator would be made. Uh, but I don't feel like going bust out that, so I'm just going to do a spiral tubing. And you want, you kind of want to keep your inlet and outlet together. I'm going to try to make mine come out the bottom of the fan and hook it up to the uh, igloo on the bottom. So we're going to get this laid out, get it laid out however you want it before you start tying it down. Uh, that's what I suggest you do anyway. Some people tie a piece down and then run it around and then tie it and then run it around and tie it. I'm going to go ahead and lay it out exactly how I want it and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie strap it into the screen here or protector or whatever. So we'll be right back. Alright, so this is how I'm going to lay it out. Uh, this is going to be my inlet water will run through it and then come out here and back into the cooler now you want to make sure you get these 
exactly where you want them. I'm running my igloo underneath it. So I'm just going to run the, the vinyl tubing to right here and right here and then dump it into the uh, into the igloo. I've seen some people, they actually wrap it around the back side as well. So if you had, you know, a 25 foot roll of copper, I guess that'd be alright. But you would have to have a uh, stronger pond pump. So we're just going to do it on the front side and we're going to dump it right out the bottom. Some people go out the sides or one on each side or whatever. I want to keep mine as, as compact as possible. So, you know, the igloo will be right here somewhere and then it'll just dump into it and dump into it. So we're going to go ahead and take these tie straps and strap it down, some secure it to where it's, you know, not loose on there. <clears throat> also, you want to keep your tubing keep a little uh, space in between the uh, end of your tube keep a little space in between that and the fan that way you can get your tube your uh, vinyl tube on there real easy so we'll get this tied down and then we'll figure out uh, how we're gonna do the igloo we need to get a table or something we can put it on for now uh, <clears throat> my idea was to get a rolling igloo and mount the fan to the top of the igloo and then you could just roll around wherever you wanted to go and plug in, you know. And by the way, you can run this off. I think it's right. Or, it's under 50 watts of electricity, the whole system, fountain pump, fan. Uh, so you can run it uh, on a solar panel pretty easy. Actually, you wouldn't even need a battery bank in the daytime. You could just uh, do a grid tie and uh, run it directly off the sunlight, you know, as long as it's a sunny day. So, or you can put your little battery bank, you know, this, the whole reason I'm building it is because I have a big generator, but it guzzles gas, it's diesel, and uh, not only is diesel expensive, but, you know, it eats a lot of gas, it's a welding machine as well, and it just, it guzzles gas, so I was looking for something I can hook up to my little two-stroke thousand watt generator. So I could run this whole system and still be able to run, you know, my TV, VCR, VCR, uh, DVD player, whatever. Uh, I can still hook all that stuff up as well. So that's what I'm looking to do is to be able to stay cool and not have to run my big generator to do it. Uh, that way I can run my big generator in the day if I need and keep my uh, deep freeze on and then just unplug it and you can run your deep freeze every other day and keep everything in it frozen so make ice for the cooler or whatever so we'll get this tied down and we're gonna get it all set up and uh... we'll come back alright YouTube we have it all in place uh, probably should have brought this one up a little higher so it's kind of in the way of the blades but that's okay it, it'll work like this uh, then we ran that vinyl tubing that's where it's going to dump out you see here we just poked two holes uh, in the cooler and I left the intake a little bit long let me show you here and I just zip tied the fan cord and the pump cord together let me show you what we have And that's all we've done uh, the one that dumps out is a little short so you can't see it but it's it's under the lid uh, I left it up kind of high so the water will actually uh, pour into the cooler and aerate it a little bit just in case uh, you don't want to get stagnant water in there so if it's ice cold it's not going to but if you leave it running and leave for a little while water warms up it don't take long for it to get stagnant and with the pump it won't anyway but I just wanted I just wanted some added aeration just for safety you know and then I just made a little indention right here on the lip to uh, run the cord out so the top will close all the way and if you wanted to you could caulk it off or whatever you want to do tape it I would just use some uh, duct tape or something some electrical tape I'm gonna leave it just like that I don't care if it Eventually, we're going to change the cooler out. We're going to get a, uh, like I said, one of the roll around coolers and we're going to mount the fan to the top of it and then just have a little drain plug on the bottom of it uh, to drain it. So, nice, simple. We're going to come back after we get the ice in it and uh, 
get it filled up with water and we'll show you how it all works. So we'll be right back in just a minute, YouTube. Alright, we're kind of running into a problem on this. Uh, it's way too low. Uh, it says this pump will only pump to four foot high, so I suggest getting a bigger pump. Something maybe like a 200 gallon per hour or something like that. Uh, this one's working, but I actually had to get this one and, you know, suck on it, get the water to come to it, and then drop it down in there. And it's not, you can see, it's it's just barely dropping water through it. It's not, uh, it, it's not enough flow of water, so what we'll probably do is cut these tubes shorter and bring the igloo up higher somehow, just to make it work for now, because... I'm not going buy a new igloo and new pump or anything right now. So what we'll eventually do is we'll buy a bigger pump for this one and uh, leave it hooked up like this with a different igloo. Like I said, we're going <clears> to <throat> permanently put it on an igloo somehow. Uh, still don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to do it. And then I'll take this little pump and I'm going to buy a small fan and uh, make a small cooler out of it uh, for my kids' room. So this one will be for the living room and then we'll make one for the uh, uh, for each bedroom that's a little smaller and we'll use these little pumps because the bigger pump was like forty dollars just for the pump by itself that was a 200 gallon per hour pump uh, it was like forty dollars at Lowe's so that's why we didn't get it but this one's working good enough for now uh, the tubes aren't ice cold yet I don't know, they're probably around 55, somewhere in there, mid-50s, so we'll get a little bit of condensation built up on those, and then we'll kick the fan on and come back, and I'll tell you uh, about how much cooler it is. Of course, we do have an air conditioner running right there, so, and you can tell it's all rigged up. We just moved back uh, yesterday, so I was just trying to cool the house off while we were uh working in the house but you can see these windows they're not normal windows they go side to side instead of up and down so it's kind of a pain in the ass to put a window unit in because you have to cut a board for it and all that shit so we're gonna fix that soon uh, and as soon as we get this one cooling off I'll, I'll come back and let you know if it's actually working well or you know we need to make adjustments to it or not alright so we have some uh, condensation built up on the pipes. You can't really tell by looking at it, but you feel it and bring your finger off and your finger's wet. So, yeah, the camera's not going to be able to pick it up. But I did notice something when we turned it on. Uh, it's cool. It's not ice cold. It's a lot cooler than just the fan. get a lot more water flow through here. I don't know if you can see this, but that's how much water flow we have coming out. It's cool going in. You can see the condensation on the vinyl pipe. It's cool going in, or it's full going in, but it's not full coming out, so we definitely need some more water pumping through it. I think nothing else it'll it'll keep you know keep you cool sitting in front of it it's not just going to blow hot air around and, that, and that's the biggest problem we had when our uh, lights went out last time was we were just pushing hot air around it didn't make a difference you know so with something like this uh, you get a couple of them together you know 100 watts of electricity and shit and two of them would probably cool the room uh, and, and you can always do the bigger pump as well and that's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to end up putting a bigger pump on it. But for now, I'm just going to shorten these hoses and uh, bring the ice chest up to about right here.
where it's just pulling just around this and that should fill the tube out a lot more. It should pump a higher volume of water through these uh, coil through this coil. So um, but that's about it. You do Oh, it's getting nice and cool now. And there's condensation all over the pipe, so it is working. Uh, maybe it just takes a little while to get cold, I don't know. Or maybe we need to turn the fan down to medium or something. I don't know, we'll play with it for a while and eventually we'll do an update on it. We're, we're going to build a bigger one. We're going to build one out of a shop fan, a barrel fan that I have for my shop. So We'll be doing different ones and we'll come back with them. Thanks for watching YouTube. Just a quick update. Uh, we went ahead and shortened the tubes. And that uh, cleared up the problem with the airflow. Now we're just running across uh, another small problem. It's kind of a new, don't really matter. Uh, see right here. These, I know you can see the condensation on them now. But it's dripping down to right there. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of PVC pipe cut it in half, stick it up under here and kind of make it like a drain, uh, maybe empty that.